for example, you take physical pain and you see, you, you talk to the client, and we use these to interview our client. This is how you gather your information. And we'll talk to the client in terms of, I want to take you back now to the instant of, imp of impact. And tell me what you recall about physiologically, what actually happened to you physically at impact. What, what hit what? What hurt? What did, you, what did you damage in the impact? And you take them through the physical pain. There's a post-impact period that's unassisted, which is uh, a, quite often a source of, of mental anguish and, and physical pain. The period of peril is, uh, is when you get hit on the, uh, on the freeway and, and then there are cars zipping by and you're, you're sitting crossways and you're waiting for that 18-wheeler to come up and hit you. During rescue, remember this, during rescue, just as an example, I'm, I'm going to fly through this. This is a whole separate one-hour speech by itself, but I'm just showing you the, the concept. During rescue, for example, a, a lot of good Samaritans who are at the scene will be trying, intending to do good. They'll be in, very well intentioned, but in the process of, I'll give you a quick example. I represent a young man who was on his honeymoon with this fine young bride, and they were, they were uh, driving along uh, right next to the border in, uh, in South Texas, and it was next to Rice Field. And this big rice thrashing machine, fellow driving along on the shoulder of the rice thrasher, makes swings out over the freeway, over the road, it's the two lane. And when he does, it takes the top right off of their car, just like a can opener, just peels the top back off their car. So he's spinning around, he smells gas, he's in ex extreme pain, and when he stops, when he stops, he can't move. Now, he was a medic in Vietnam, and he was very well aware of, of, of injury, and he was very well aware of paralysis, and he can't move. He's sitting there. He smells the gas. He calls out to his wife. She doesn't answer. So finally, he has some movement in his right, his right hand, and he reaches up and grabs his own, his own shirt and pulls himself as far as he can reach. He pulls himself, his whole upper body around, until he can see his wife, who has been decapitated. Now, you want to talk about all the various levels of physical pain involved in that? The physical pain comes from the fact that he has broken both legs. He has uh, two broken scapulae. He has all kind of broken ribs, and he has uh, this uh, obvious injury to the neck.